Hey, it's Alter Medicine here, and finally, I'm gonna be able to do a proper test of iPhone. I have iPhone 4S here, and uh, currently, I have HF 59B meter, and I'm recording this with iPad 2 and all the wireless here is off the emissions are 4.2 microwatt watt per square meter so that's classified as just a second I have my notes here in my paper that's classified as I have a I'm measuring full spectrum of high frequency fields and right now it's 4.2 so it falls between somewhere between safe and weak high frequency field uh, radiation and I'm gonna just turn on the the iPhone and just gonna call some random number like free uh, recent Goes over immediately jumps over 200 and I'm just gonna go away it's 60 one meter away 100 it depends on the angle and the safe remember the safe is emissions under one So let's try to get it to 4 at least like it was before. Even here like 4 meters away it's still 65. So my conclusion is that it radiates to the whole room. Even on the other side of my apartment it's still 50. Just amazing. And here it's coming slowly down and it still reaches like 40 10 and when you get closer oh the, I think the line was disconnected or something yeah yeah let's try it again Two hundred. I don't want to trip over something. <laughs> I'm on the other side, and the phone is there. So still here, I get twenty-five, forty, and when we get closer, it's over two hundred here. So the conclusion is there's no safe distance, distance for the mobile phone. You get even on the other side of the room. I was standing there at that uh, dishwasher and it's still I got like 50. So that was like somewhere between weak and strong uh, emission. Uh, Yes, my conclusion is there's no safe uh, safe distance. Even if you hold your phone away from you, your speaker, you still get like a high emission. Uh, probably lower. Let's try again. I'm gonna change to high range. Let's call the same number. I changed to high range. At 400, yeah, you see, 1,500, and when you move away the phone, yeah, yeah. So, the conclusion is like on the medium setting, it still picks up over 200, but I set the range to high, and uh, emissions are really, really high. Oh.
Let's do it again. 500, 700. And when we go far away, 60, somewhere. This is a milliwatt. It's not microwatt, so it's... But it's still, like, just to compare. Closer, if you put phone on your head, oof, on your ear you get 2000 and if you use it as a speaker you get like 300 so that's like four times lower emission so I really recommend it's a the, the mobile phones are like uh, necessary devils in our life and uh, we cannot escape the need to use them and but I recommend and every time this phone pick up the signal somebody calls you like this emission goes straight to your hip if you if or sexual organ if you if you keep the phone in your pocket and um, I just suggest yeah extend your arm and use the speaker you get like four times lower emission and that's something it's not uh, like perfect but it's still something to consider and uh, this is the high frequency field let's uh, measure the low frequency field but I don't think it's gonna show anything significant 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 here's uh, I'm uh, first electric emissions let's call the same number free and toll free number let's turn my meter off and you get like two, oh, let's put to 50 hertz. Yeah, electric emission is really low. So the iPhone doesn't emit any electric fields that I can see in any way. Let's try magnetic. Still, oh yeah, you, you have some magnetic. Wow, wow, I didn't know that. There is a uh, high magnetic somewhere between 100 and 500 Newton Tesla. When you hold the phone over the your ear, you get like over 200, maybe closer to 500 Newton Tesla straight to your brain and ears. So, again, electric. It's not a problem, but magnetic fields, it's a big problem. So, oh, no, let's try how far if you extend the phone. If you extend the phone farther, like if you extend your arm, you get like lower amount. And here you get over 200 Newton Tesla straight in your brain magnetic fields so the conclusion is um, iPhone 4s emits very high uh, full spectrum high frequency fields and also the magnetic fields and you get like four times lower high frequency fields if you close if you hold your iPhone away like using a speaker and extend your arm and uh, same goes for magnetic that's even bigger multiplier of the uh, decrease of magnetic fields that's my conclusion just uh, keep away the phone if you don't need it maybe turn on use it in airplane mode and just because uh, when somebody holds you you get straight emission to your hip, to your sexual organs, to internal organs and who knows what those emissions do to you. I never use uh, wireless on the phone because that's another thing and that's even worse devil. And let's turn it on. It's, oh shit.
cannot find anything. Yeah, there's no, it doesn't connect, but it's like straight regular wireless that's also very pot dangerous for your health. So that's it iPhone 4S uh, test 2013 Alter Medicine. Visit my site altermedicine.org for for further uh, details about electromagnetic fields, high and low frequency fields and how to protect yourself against.